welcome to the space of lifting your vibe so i hope you have listened to the first one but if you haven't it's also good so today we're gonna look at what does it take or how to understand your vibe so this can happen in 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 different ways of course so we already clear the vibe is your own vibration your own sense of being here your own choice but also of course how you can access it and how you can live it so how to understand the vibe can in a way shall be shown in your mood remember we are the wholeness of being the, the physical the symbolic and the luminous in, in a short form and the one that connects it all together is the heart. So the physical and the symbolic, the symbolic is the way we're thinking, the way we're feeling, not the emotions that we have festered over the time, but the feelings that are coming through and also the five senses. The higher senses in a way is the intuition, the clairvoyance, the clear sentience and the clear audience. And the clear, the clear audience and the clear sentient, the clear audience, uh, they are sentience, voyance, and audience, in a way is that higher experience. So if you are in your vibe, you will notice that your senses are somehow expanded. Your consciousness sees beyond what you experience in your physical what you hear in the physical, the sensing of, this is off, this is on, I'm feeling light, I'm feeling heavy, this is kind of beyond the physical senses. However, as I said, the mood is in a way a nice kind of measure to start looking at how do I understand my vibe. So yes, the physical is part of it all. It's not like your physical is useless, no. The part that is most easy accessible for us, although we haven't fully accessed it, is most easy accessible because we're in this physical body and we can actually feel it if we are opening. And from that physical experience in the connection of the wholeness, we in a way get it all. So yes, your mood is a good indicator. And so observe your mood. Well, some people are more moody than others, but still the mood is an indicator. So once you are observing your mood, you in a way can find where your vibe is. Your vibe is also important to be embodied in the body. I can vibrate very high in my luminous body, in my star seat, in my whatever. But here in my physical body, I can feel like, oh, I don't like this and this is bad. And why is this always happening to me? So it's what we used to call embodied enlightenment, which is now accessible to all of us. While in other times it wasn't. So in that now that you're starting to have also the physical experience, if you wish, and the symbolic, you are more able to make choices. So the physical, the mental, and of course the unconscious and the, um, the emotions, they can control us and we can be very entrapped, enslaved and entangled. But as we are through the heart coming into our fullness, we all of a sudden have a choice. So this is when you start understanding your vibe. You come into that observer, seeing, hearing, sensing what the mood is of a situation of yourself. Because the situation is important, you put the vibe in there. So as you're stepping back, you 
have a sense I actually have a choice. This human body is not only for suffering and for pain and for victim and for hero or rescuer or judge. No, this, this body is here to evolve into Homo Luminous. It takes your choice and the choice sits in your heart. As you bring your mind into your heart and access also the higher octaves of your mind, of your intelligence. I prefer intelligence. So this is how you start understanding your vibe. And yes, you will also understand your vibe when you see how do others respond to you. Do they smile? Or do they feel like, oh no, this guy again, or this girl again, or whatever you feel. So the vibe can be understood by stepping into the observer. By knowing maybe what your, your body, your human experience is transmitting is not necessary who you truly are. And once you realize that you are not that body alone and that body is shifting from homo sapiens, men and women of the mind, into homo luminous, men and women of the light. And so you all of a sudden have that choice and you all of a sudden have that ability to look at that vibe that comes from within and that you are sharing in the world. So again, I'm very curious about this. How do you feel about it? The vibe that you're sharing is not to please, is not to fulfill ex expectations, your vibe is here to make a difference, to lift the vibe of all, not only humans, because we're not alone here. Nature is begging us to come back into harmony. So let's do a little sound that you may be able to step back a bit and observe your vibe internally but also what your vibe is creating in your environment without conditions, without labels, without expectations, without trying to please, but simply to serve and to be part. You may want to close your eyes or not. And I'm getting my flute to activate that high sensitivity in you to step back to understand your vibe and the choice that you have in affecting your own being the body the soul the heart the light the spirit but also your contribution maybe your responsibility not your duty in your environment so enjoy to open up to unlock that magic in you understand your vibe, to have that ability to observe and to have that choice what you're going to do with it. So much love from my heart to yours. Let me know how that works for you and let me know how
we can join in more in that beautiful new community of amazing vibes. See you there.